Now, file uploading in PHP is extremely easy. However, what you do need in the background um, is some kind of check to check the file extension of your files. Now, we have a type field when we upload an image, and what we do is essentially, when we click on this Choose File button and we can pick an image or a file depending on the uh, array of allowed extensions that you want, um, we load this data into an array. Now, if I was to choose, uh, for example, a JPEG image, the uh, type of file would be image slash JPEG, and I'll demonstrate this a bit later on. However, what we're going to be checking uh, to ensure that we only are allowed to upload specific file extensions, we're going to be checking the end um, extension on each file. And this is a lot more secure way to upload files. So if you're watching this tutorial and you haven't looked at file uploading at all in PHP, then this is going to be great for you, but it's also going to have the additional benefit of uh, making your file upload secure. Because obviously, potentially, you can see that I've got this file.php uh, here, if we were to click and upload that, I've actually disallowed this extension, so we have this extension not allowed message returned. So that's essentially it. Um, as I showed you a moment ago, we have um, a few file extensions. One is over to two megabytes, this one's 2.31 megabytes, and it has a capital extension, um, which will become clearer later on why we need to uh, do something to our file extensions to uh, convert them to lowercase. And I have this image here, which is 711 kilobytes, which is going to be allowed because it's within our allowed um, our allowed file extension, um, and uh, it's under the two megabyte mark. So if I was to, for example, upload this, which is over two megabytes, you can see that it says file size must be under two megabytes. So with that example out of the way and done with, we can go over to our text editor and start writing this program out. Okay, so I'm just going to be working with one file in this case, um, and that is index.php. Everything's going to be done on the same page. We're not going to be passing any variables to another page. We're just going to keep it nice and simple so we can show the error message on the same page as the file upload form. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an area where I'm going to do my pre uh, PHP processing just up here. Below this, I'm going to uh, create a form uh, with all the elements that we require um, to actually choose the image and upload. So I'm going to create a form. Um, I'm going to leave all these uh, blank just for now and we'll go through them. Uh, the action I'm just going to leave empty and this is just going to automatically assume that we want to submit back to index.php. You could put index.php in there but there's not really any need. Okay, so the method is going to be post, we're sending post data, um, and we need an additional attribute to this form tag, and that is enc type, so it's enc type, and that's equal to multipart slash form data. And this is for the purpose of the way PHP handles file uploads, because we need to load the data so that PHP can understand it. So without this extension, or the attribute here, and this value here, um, we won't actually be able to read any data from our files. So I'm going to create some paragraph tags just here. And then inside here, I'm going to start with an input field. Okay, so this input type is going to be file. What that does is it automatically, if we open up our browser, uh, let's just reload that, automatically gives us um, a file upload option. Now it's, it shows different in different browsers. I'm using Google Chrome. Uh, and this is the way that file uploads are displayed. So you can just click choose file uh, and that allows you to choose a file. However, in your browser, it might look slightly different. So don't worry if it does. Um, we're gonna give this a name. And in this case, it's going to be image because what I'm gonna be doing in this tutorial is only allowing image extensions. So I'm naming it just appropriately as image. Uh, I then want to create a submit button, which is important so we can actually submit the form. So that's input type submit, and the value is just going to be upload, and this is what's displayed to the user. Okay, so let's preview that in our browser to check everything's working. Okay, yeah, so we've got our um, area where we were to pick a file, so we can choose a file here. We can select a file, and it puts the extension in there, and then we can click upload. Now at the moment this only redirects back to index.php because what we need to do is process what we've passed through this form up here. So now that you've done the form, we can go up here and we can start writing out the code that's gonna allow us to process uh, this file. So the first thing we need to mention is how does, how are, well, how's the information about this file passed onto PHP? Well, if we were to use the print R in PHP, and use dollar underscore files, 
this contains an array of every file that you were to put in this form. So for example, let's go back and refresh. I'm going to choose a file, click on here, and click upload, and you can see that we have an array. And inside this array is um, another array, um, and then we have specific data to the file that we've just uploaded. If you were to have multiple input type fields, uh, input, well, multiple of these, you can see that we would have um, two arrays inside this array. So for now, we're just working with one um, field. Okay, so the name is uh, coconut.png. Uh, the type is not important in this case because what we want to do is check this. Uh, the reason we're not going to be checking this uh, is because it's interpreted by the browser and we don't actually want to check this. It's an unreliable way of checking. Uh, the rest of it doesn't matter except for the size. We're also going to be checking the size and this is in bytes. So um, you might want to go over to Google and uh, or, or any other converter and convert the amount of megabytes you want to um, allow. So for example, if we wanted to allow two megabytes, this would be representative in bytes because if we were to compare it to two, that means two bytes. So I'll just show you a quick example of that. What we want to uh, do is say two MB um, or two megabytes, two bytes, and we actually get a uh, numerical representation of how many bytes are in two megabytes. So we can use this value a bit later on um, in our checks. So that's the file size in bytes, that's the file name, and that's all we're gonna to need to deal with. This uh, temp name is also very important because when we use um, a function a bit later on, it's called move uploaded file. Um, what this will do is it will copy this file from a temporary location. The way it works is when we, when we upload this file initially, for example, when I select the file and click upload, it's actually put in a temporary location on whatever web server you're running this script from. So in my case, it's c colon backslash xamp tmp, and then it's just called php 2500.tmp. This file here that I've highlighted is actually our image, but what we need to do is use a functionality in PHP to move this to a folder of our choice. And the folder that we're using, if I just open this up, is images. So index.php is the file we have open currently, and images is where we're gonna be storing our images. You see at the moment we don't have any uh, images in here, or at least I don't think we do, but we do, so I'm just gonna delete that. That was from the example. Okay, so, um, we've printed out this, uh, so hopefully you have a better understanding of how variables are passed in this way. And obviously we have a multi-dimensional array. So if you know about multi-dimensional arrays, you need, you'll need you know that we need to use two square brackets. One for the first part and two for the second part. So, or the second set for the second part. So the first thing I'm going to do is a bit of prep. Um, we're going to say if is set, and this is set will check essentially if this value has been submitted, i.e. the form itself has been submitted. So I'm going to say if set dollar underscore files and then in brackets, because remember files here is an array, I'm just going to specify image. And that's essentially going to check if this value uh, exists, i.e. has the form been submitted. Okay. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is just define a variable called errors and that's going to be equal to just an array. We're not going to put anything in here. But what this errors is going to do is, is uh, through our program, we're going to check two things. We're first of all going to check the extension, and second of all, we're going to check the size. And then if we do have any problems, we're going to um, put the errors into an array. And the reason we do this is because you may have an extension, for example, PHP, um, and the PHP file might be over two megabytes long. So in that case, we're going to have two errors. So rather than echoing out individual errors down our page, we're going to store the errors in an array and then echo them out in a loop. So hopefully that won't put you off too much, but it's a lot better way to do things and it's good practice to get into. 